will come in and welcome to the bright agent today we're going to be gender with james yes so there are three genders yes i know that there are three genders in german unlike in spanish and french or much languages the new gender that you don't know is neuter yes and it's, it's not a masculine or feminine so it's neutral yeah so just for your information a has, has is ein without spelt e-i-n without an e unlike in feminine yes for masculine and neutral or but for feminine, as the bright agent just said, there's an E on the end, so it's ein, just like with adjectives in French. But let's not get off course. Now, back, so now, the word V has three of them. Du, di, das. And you thought das was Spanish. Well, that's what it is. German. So, du is for masculine d is feminine and das is neutral for sweating there's no need to say continue so well, i am hb so about these genders there are a few words that you might need to know that uses for example family members for example, I'm blood, I'm sweaty. Oh yeah, and by the way, there's one other one that uses something similar, and that's the my section. It's exactly the same as the a section, just with an m at the start. It's mine, blood, not. So it's like mine. So it's my brother. Yes. So, and that's how it works with German. There's also meine Schwester, meine Mutter, mein Vater. Yes, I do know some German. Yeah. Ich bin ein Gatte. That's, that, by the way, for all you, that means I am a cat. If you've got a pet cat, unless you can teach your cat to say what it is in German. Ha! Well, that will take a lot of work. So, bye from the Bright Agent. We call men to German. Which ironically sound like Dutch. Danke! That means thank you.